As you know, there are mainly three Himalayan rivers. They are the Indus, Ganga and the Brahmaputra. So we have completed the drainage system of Ganga. Now let's go to the Brahmaputra. So the Brahmaputra, it originates from Chemayangdang Glacier. Chemayangdang Glacier in Tibet, China and flows through China. takes uh, to south in south direction and enters the India in Arunachal Pradesh. It flows through Arunachal Pradesh, Assam, flows through Assam and enters the Bangladesh where it joins with the Padma or Ganga and at last joins with uh, joins in Bay of Bengal. So these two uh, Ganga and Brahmaputra, they make the largest delta of the world in Bangladesh. So this total will be covered uh, with delta. So it is the largest delta in the world which is called as Ganga Brahmaputra delta or Sundarban delta or Bengal delta. So now we see uh, about Brahmaputra. So Brahmaputra have different names in different regions. Let us look at them. So in Tibet, Brahmaputra is known as Sangpo. When it enters uh, India, it is called as the Hung or Siang. And then when it joins with Lohit, uh, we will discuss about it later, a tributary, it is called as Brahmaputra. So after that, when it joins, when a tributary Tista joins with Brahmaputra, we will discuss about it later. It also, it is called as the uh, Jamuna. And later, when it is joined with, when it joins with Meghana, another river, it is called as Meghana. So this is. Meghana. This is Meghana. So now, uh, let's. Uh, the Brahmaputra, it is also called as Red River of India. So now let's see the tributaries. First, the left bank tributaries. So the left bank tributaries, first we will see a, a, a tributary which originates in eastern Tibet, flows through Tibet and enters the India in Arunachal Pradesh. So here we find a bridge which is the longest bridge in India. So it is Bhup and Hazarika bridge. Is Bhup and Hazarika. So then it joins with Brahmaputra. So here it is Lohit. So another tributary that is the Bang, its source is in Arunachal Pradesh, flows through Arunachal Pradesh and in Assam, it joins with Lohit and then with Brahmaputra. So this is the Bang. So now let's come to the next uh, left bank tributary. So this one, it is Dhansiri. So its source is in Assam. And it flows through only Assam and joins the Brahmaputra. So this is Dhansiri. Right. So next uh, we have we have completed the left bank tributaries. So now let's go to the right bank. So first we find a tributary. It uh, originates in Tibet. Enters the India in Aso uh, Arunachal Pradesh, flows in Arunachal Pradesh and Assam, and joins the Brahmaputra uh, near the mouth of Dhansiri. So it is it has the name uh, rhyming with Dhansiri that is Subansiri. So uh, before the Subansiri and Dhansiri's mouth, we have this one a river island. It is the largest river island in the world. Do you know it? 
Yes. It is Majuli River Island. So then if we come to the next river, uh, ne the next tributary, we find this one. The next one, this, it, uh, it originates in Arunachal Pradesh, flows through Arunachal Pradesh and then enters the Assam and joins the Brahmaputra at Tezpur. So this is Kameng River. Kameng. Right. So the next river, we find its source in Tibet. So this is Manas River. It flows through Tibet and enters the Bhutan. So it is the longest river in Bhutan and then joins the Brahmaputra in Assam. So this is Manas. So the next one, it is this, it is Tista river. So it originates in Sikkim, flows through Sikkim, West Bengal and enters the Bangladesh and then joins with Brahmaputra or Jamuna in Bangladesh. So this is Tista. So we have discussed before when Tista joins with Brahmaputra, it is called as Jamuna. And when Lohit joins with uh, Changpo, it is called as Brahmaputra. So we have completed the tributaries of Brahmaputra too.